Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise. In this video, I'm gonna review my favorite mail forwarding service. And so I actually looked it up online. This is the article that comes up first in Google, a blog called Venturists. And he has some really good points here. I wanted to uh, point out first of all that when you're looking for a mail forwarding service, especially if you're like a digital nomad or you know a constant traveler, um, basically what you really want is a virtual mailbox. You want a place where um, mail can arrive and then they can actually scan the mail and send it to you in an email format. And so the coolest thing about that, of course, is that you can view it in email and then if they send you something like a credit card because you just signed up, um, they could even scan the back of it and you can record the numbers while you're abroad and then save it in some sort of a spreadsheet somewhere, some kind of a secure document and then use that you know, for purchases online and things like that. And that's kind of what we do with e-commerce and travel hacking and drop shipping. So um, you know, we sign up for credit cards, we get the bonus rewards, um, we have our mail forwarding service scan the card for us and then shred the card afterwards and then we use that to place orders for our products and we get a lot of bonus rewards that way. So this is a great way to go with it and I wanted to also show you guys the map of state income tax rates because the deal is if you're traveling, if you want to become a digital nomad and travel, it's really easy to do. You just have to understand that um, you should probably base yourself first in a state that doesn't have any state income tax rates. Um, and it's pretty simple to do this. You just have to understand, first of all, what it takes to become a citizen of a state. And that means basically getting a driver's license somewhere. Now, most states make it pretty simple to do. Um, Washington, when we went there, we didn't even get asked um, if the mailbox address that we had is a physical residence or not. Um, they just you know, asked us, why is it such a long unit number? And I said, well, it's a tall building. <laughs> so it worked out fine. Um, but the thing about Washington State is that if you base your business there, and or you make enough income out of Washington alone to have to base your business there, um, which I think is over ten thousand dollars revenue in a year, that they have a one percent gross income tax on your businesses. So you don't want to base an LLC out of Washington. Um, if I can recommend you base your LLC out of Wyoming because that's where I do it. Um, you have also options for Texas and Florida and South Dakota and Nevada, but Wyoming is a really great place to base your LLC out of if you're going to be traveling as a digital nomad. Um, and that's really what this video is going to, who this video is going to help is people that want to um, break free of the norm, you know, get out of the United States, start traveling the world a bit, become a minimalist maybe, and, and you know, become a digital nomad per se. Work on their laptops from a beach or whatever, from a hammock, from a co-working space, from their hotels, all that good stuff. So. Um, Basing an LLC in Wyoming is great. It's very hard to establish residence there because you actually have to go there and there's not a whole lot of places to go and they require all sorts of documents to prove residency. Um, but from what I heard, the easiest state to establish residence in is South Dakota. South Dakota, you just have to rent a hotel room for the night and then go to the DMV and you know give them that, uh, that invoice and they'll actually just give you residence there. It's kind of an old RVers trick from what I heard. So that's just rumor. Um, I would highly suggest you actually go and research that yourself. But if you base your personal residence out of South Dakota and then your business in Wyoming, that might be a good idea. Um, it's always a good idea to try to base your business and your personal residence in the same state. I know another blogger who actually based their personal residence and their business in Texas and Texas has no state income tax. They do have state sales tax, but no income tax. So it's a great uh, state to base business out of. Um, and you'll have to do more research to find out if it's really right for you or not. Like some states even have franchise taxes and stuff like that. So if you need more information, contact your lo local CPA and ask them, or even contact a lawyer, um, or just read up and do more research on it by typing you know keywords into Google. But that's it, guys. So definitely set up some sort of a virtual mailbox when you are thinking about becoming a digital nomad. Um, you know, if you're just working from home and you have a family, you don't plan on doing it. You can just go to your local UPS store, you know, and 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 work that way because they'll be able to receive your boxes too, any packages, that kind of stuff. Um, but if you're gonna travel, definitely do a, a virtual mailbox. And the one I recommend is called Traveling Mailbox. So if you go to resources on the website, you can actually go here and click the virtual mailbox link, and it'll take you to a forwarding URL, which is a referral link for me and um, I'll get a small commission it won't cost you anything extra and it's very cheap actually it's only fifteen dollars a month to get started and that's why I started with it because I compared it to a lot of other services and they were like fifty to a hundred dollars per month so fifteen is really good and it, it includes forty incoming envelopes per month thirty five page scans and free mail shredding and three mailbox recipients and then of course you can upgrade if you end up getting a lot more mail, but we've been on the $15 a month plan. We've been paying around $20 a month because of the overages. Um, so it's super cheap and easy and affordable. So I definitely recommend that guys. Go check that out. And uh, you know, with that said, I'll be making a lot more of these videos for the course as well. So definitely get in there and get started. If you're interested in becoming a digital nomad, this is gonna be a really fun course for you. So keep watching. See you in the next video.